Hello everybody and welcome back to KDP 8Z. Now I get asked an awful lot of the time, how do I find the niches that I find? In some of my more recent videos, I've shown you some incredible options that you could go for, ones that are earning thousands of pounds every single month and with virtually no competition. And I get asked, how do I find these? Everyone acts like KDP is some big secret, but the truth is if you put in a bit of research, you can find your own really good niches ones that aren't going to be competitive and ones where you can make some really good money. So today I want to just show you my top techniques for finding these great niches. So I have a couple of different places where I do my research. The first one obviously is Publisher Rocket. I've shown you this one before. It's really simple to use. It's a one-off fee. I'm not an affiliate of Publisher Rocket. I do just genuinely think it is a really good program. So all you need to do is think of a topic. So we'll do a keyword search, look for something like affirmations. And then Publisher Rocket will come up with loads of really good options. Now, there is a key for finding a good niche within this, because not everything that you see on here is going to be great. Now, when I'm on Publisher Rocket, I always look for ones that don't have many competitors. If you've got more than a thousand competitors, you really want to be careful with that. I'm always looking for something with a double green score. I won't pay any attention at all to anything that's not a double green, with the exception of when these number of competitors are low. Now, just occasionally, as you're going through, you'll find something really exciting, like this one, Affirmations Noah St. John. So this has got a number of 31 competitors. We've got 4,619 searches per month and a competitive score of 11. Now, when I see something like this, I will go and check out that kind of book. So let's go and have a look at what they look like. Now, when you're looking on the competition analyzer section here, which is what happens when you press that green button, you'll see that Noah St. John is obviously the author. So great for him. He's obviously one of the authors that's doing this, but this is not something that's going to interest me. Whoever is searching for that is looking for that particular person. So that would immediately rule this one out for me. As I'm scrolling down the page and obviously looking at all the different results, there are some that I'm just going to completely ignore. And my eye is caught by this one, seven most powerful affirmations, 221 competitors, which is not many. And look at the amount of search results and look at the average monthly earnings. So that one interests me. Let's have a look at it. And you can see here that the books here are not all from one author. So that's a good sign. The next thing that I look at when I'm looking at this competition analyzer is how old the books are. Now, I'm not looking for something that's going to be very old. So this is how many days it is. When you look at this age section, this shows you how many days old it is. Publisher Rocket will show you the top results here. So if it's only showing you the older books, that's not a good sign. You want to be looking for something where there's young books in the market that are doing well. That means it's a niche that's still growing and one that you can make an impact in. But when you see books that are thousands of days old, I mean, this one here it is doing very well, $13,000 per month, but it's over 2,000 days old. That's probably about eight years. That's going to be a difficult niche to break into if they're all this old. But it does give me some ideas of other things that people might be looking for. So confident, inspirational colouring books. These are all different keywords that I'm going to go and look up. So what I'll do is I'll start an Excel sheet and I'm just going to mark down all of these little keywords. So I'm just going to make a list here of lots of different keywords that I think might be interesting and I'm going to put them in. So this one as well has the keywords empowering girls book. I'm going to put that one in and I'm going to carry on doing that. So now I'm going to look at those keywords and see what's going on with them. Now you can see immediately that I've already got some more double greens. So it's all about how far you explore within Publisher Rocket. Remember, you're looking for low number of competitors, ideally a double green score, decent monthly earnings, and the age of your book to be quite low. If you stick with those main rules within Publisher Rocket and keep looking, you are gonna find something really good. But obviously Publisher Rocket is a paid for program. If you don't have the money to do that, you can go with this option. Now, a little while ago in this video here, I gave you some really good chat GPT prompts that you can use yourself completely for free to find some good keywords. If you haven't seen that video, do check it out. 
this prompt sheet is available within my Gumroad store and this is completely free. And all you have to do with this is copy and paste this. So this high search, low competition keywords is the one that you want to use. It's the first one within the prompts document and you just copy it. So you select it all with your mouse, you right click on the mouse and you copy. If you've never used ChatGPT before, it is so easy to use and it is completely free to use as well. The only problem that it sometimes has is that it's not up to date on the internet. Now you can get around that by using a plugin. I showed you how to get this plugin on this video here and that's gonna allow you to have web access with the free version of ChatGPT. So you're going along to ChatGPT, you're gonna log in, with your Max AI's plugin switched on, you're going to copy my command into your questions bar. And then you've got to put in a few words. So we're going to type in again, affirmations. Have a look at an affirmation book, make it more specific. Now, always the results that ChatGPT produce are going to be different every single time. Sometimes it will give you a number here. Sometimes it will give you a more qualitative figure, like high or very high. But here I've asked it to rate the competition score, whereas zero would be low competition and 100 would be really high. So if we're looking at this one, happiness books, the competition we're seeing is too high on that. Something like daily affirmations is looking pretty good for us. So that's saying it's got search volumes which are very high and is relatively decent competitive score. If you want to get more results, it's really easy. You just press this regenerate button and it's going to come up with more different options for you. Keep having a little look. Remember, this is not always going to come immediately to you. You do have to have some patience. You do have to spend a bit of time. You have to have your own ideas as well. Start thinking about things that you know about, things that you like, things that you think would be you'd be good at. If you want to draw some inspiration for some niches, I have created this spreadsheet, which gives you over 500 different niche ideas. Use this to start generating some keyword ideas. So if I just took something like nonograms or pick cross, and I'm going to use this instead as a keyword using my copy and paste method. So again, it's come up with some different keywords here that are going to help you narrow down your niche. Now, once you've decided on your vague, broad niche, you're going to have to come up with a really good title for your book. This is where this next stage is going to come into play. So you're going to want to go along to Amazon and on here, you're going to want to start typing in your title that you want to use for your book. Now we're going to be using two different plugins here, Titans Quick View, the Amazon Niche Finder and Titans Pro. These are both free plugins that you can get easily. And I showed you how to get them in this video here. If you haven't seen this video, do go and check it out. So just having a little look back on our chat GPT results, we've got seen this one here, affirmation book for beginners, high search volume, low competition score. Let's start with that as a title for our book. Now you see, as you start to type the words in, it's going to come up with loads more keywords for you. And again, this is going to be a really good way for you to find some different keywords that are going to help you in your search. But we've decided on affirmation book for beginners. Let's search for that one. Now you can already see that it's only got a thousand results, which is a good thing. We don't want the results to be too high. And look at that. It's coming up with a niche score of 68 for that particular title. That's not bad for just a few minutes of research. Now, obviously, once you've found your niche, you're going to want to make your book. I've given you loads of advice in these videos about how you can quickly and easily create any book of any kind. So if you haven't seen them, do check them out. And importantly, you're going to want to market your book as best as possible. You don't have to pay to do that. You can get free advertising in loads of different ways. You can do things like A plus marketing for completely for free. Watch this video where I show you how to do it. You could also do things like videos within social marketing campaigns, posting in Facebook groups. And another really good one is trying to get your book into a low competition category. I show you how to do that in this video here. So if you haven't seen that yet, do check it out. I really hope you found this video useful and that you find your own unique niche that you're going to make a fortune in. I'm going to keep telling you loads of different things that I find. I love doing the niche research. And when I find a good one, I always try to share it with you because there's no way that I can make all these good books that I find. 
If you've enjoyed this video, do hit the like button. It really does help me make more videos that you might like. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.